Hello everyone, it is from Pace here, bad interview. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, we recently left off with my upload schedule, so welcome if you guys are here. And if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and that post notifications. It means so much to me, guys. Um, this is just a tiny video. It's nothing to be too special, but um, we are going to be doing uh, the AFK force field material. Now, by people who don't understand that, if you looked at the thumbnail, uh, when you go AFK, your body changes to um, an, a different force, uh, just a different material. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It just looks cool. Um, and it, it's kind of just a basic script, but might as well bring it out there because I know a lot of people are looking for it. Um, and also, join the Discord. We're almost at 1,000 members, guys. It is amazing. Just amazing. So that's that's awesome. Um, and everyone, um, welcome. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been posting too much. I'm going to try my best. Uh, so let's get right into this. You're going to go in the description, and you're going to look for models, and it should say AFK Force Field Material. You're going to click on it, and it should bring you here. Now, you're going to just click this button right here, and it will basically give you the model um, and once you have the model you are good to go um, so just load in your roblox studio uh, i do have mine open of course and you're gonna go to uh toolbox right here and it should have be opened and you'll go to inventory um, and you'll just click this thing right here when you click it it should spawn something in now this is a model um, i'll just delete the other one and what this model does is it has the few of the following things um, it has the scripts inside of them <laughs> so we're gonna go to service of service and bring this into here and then we're gonna go to start a character script so right into these folders um, and we're just gonna delete that other one and then we're gonna hit on group and then we're gonna go right here and hit on group and there we go we have the scripts now i'm gonna quickly explain them and then i'm actually just gonna show you in game because i don't want this to be a long video guys just this quick minute video because you know might as well just show you so in service script service we have the afk handler and then in started character we have the afk local script so um maybe i'll just talk about this right away because this kind of beyonds to what we're talking about now um this script will give the player AFK over GUI when they tab out. I meant I didn't change that part, but you know, you know, sorry, that's from the last video. Now, if, sorry, let's talk about that real quick. If you want this and you don't, you don't want the other one. So you know what you could do? You want the other one too, so it changes over the head and um, also, you know, just in the script. You could actually just leave get rid of this one don't make sure there's only one of them in the game but also just you can also have two of these afk handlers but i'd recommend getting rid of uh you know what you probably can just be just fine i'll explain in a second here <laughs> maybe we'll see um, so in here we have looking at things. We have the locals and the functions. Um, this is the replicate storage event. So this is game replicate storage wait for child AFK because we are going to be waiting for this AFK event and we're creating it in this server script service. We are not making, we're not having one in there. Um, so what we're doing is we're getting a service called user input service. So this is the clicking, the mouse button, the touches, all that jazz. And we're checking if the user clicks out and if they click in. If they do, okay, then we're gonna fire the server, the AFK, and we're gonna say true, and then we're gonna say and we're gonna say false, okay. So if they click out, we're saying true, and if they click in, we're saying false. So that's focus and focus release. If that kind of makes sense to you guys, pretty simple, honestly. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna close it out, pretty simple. Um, so in here we have a little AFK status over here, and then we have AFK event. Um, this is like I said, we're grabbing the replicated storage AFK that's not here, and that's when we're doing it right here. So if not AFK event, then we're creating a new remote event, and it should be in replicated storage called AFK. So that's where we go, and then we have the function. This is the main thing. So local update AFK, I guess, is the uh, function for this. Um, so basically, what we're doing is we're grabbing the character right here by grabbing the player from the update AFK, as in the server event, and then we're grabbing the parts from the character by doing get descents. So um, this is pretty much the way, the easiest way of doing this is grabbing all the parts from the characters, like humanoid, I guess you could say. We're not we're not going inside the humanoid. We're doing the character and that's kind of kind of weird to say that guys but um that's where you're getting the descents um because there's something inside the humanoid already so we don't want that we want the characters parts um so once we grab that then we're gonna do a few things if enabled okay and if not enabled so this is where we're doing that enable part that's where we're doing the true or false um so if afk we're gonna create a for loop and we're gonna check all of the parts right here and if it is a base part so just an actual part then we're gonna get that base part and change the material to force field. So this is when we're setting all their body parts to force field material. And then we're just gonna exit that for loop um, and that's it. Um, but if they're not AFK, then 
we're gonna grab all their base parts again and change it back to plastic, okay? So that's why we have to do that two of them because we gotta make sure they're going back to you know force field plastic this kind of jets so if they're if they're afk then we're gonna go to force field if not afk then we're gonna go to plastic and you guys actually can customize this all you want so if you want to do this to glass metal sand anything literally anything you can do it right here in these two things these words just make sure you get the words right so i'd search up roblox materials get those right just in case um accessory wise uh you can also try and do accessory right here uh, i think there's another way of doing that but um probably just Join my Discord, I'm not yet with that. But let's explain this on server event. So when the AFK event happens, so on server event, um, we're going from the local side to the server script side. Um, then we're gonna get the player and the en enable. So that's gonna be two new locals because we grabbed the player from it and then we're grabbing the enable. So is that true or false? Um, and then we're doing that AFK status up here, okay? And if if and it's gonna equal enable. So update AFK right here. So if it is enabled, then we're gonna do that thing. So if it's true, and then if it's false, then we're not gonna do that thing. So that's uh, that's basically what we're doing. Um, now, uh, that's pretty much it, but let me just explain one more time. We're going from local side, which is this right here, the local side, and right here, we're firing the server from the local side, okay? The, the client side, which is basically yourself, your only thing you can see just from you um, on your game. And then we're sending it up to the server side, which is everyone, and then we're changing it in front of everyone, okay? So that's that's basically what we're doing. So I hope you guys understand the difference between local and server. So they're one and one or the other, but thank you guys. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me actually just play here and show you what it looks like. Cause it's actually pretty sick. Okay. So, um, someone already, he already asked to is for R6 and R15. It does work for both. Um, I guess I just have my player in R6 already. Um, so when you click out, boink, there you go. So pretty sick. And you know, if I do an animation, it's still gonna, um, oh wait, these don't work because there are 15. <laughs> well, if you do an animation, it's still going to play. Uh, but as you can see, everything turns different colors. Um, since our body parts are tan and then our gears are white, then they're just going to be like that. But it, it, it looks cool is the thing. It just, it really does look cool. And, you know, then you really know they're AFK. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, like I said, I have a lot more coming, guys. Just bear with me. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.